Square House. Ciao. Here candy. It's Sunday morning on CBS. Here again is Lee Cowan. That's Lionel Messi, perhaps one of the greatest soccer players ever, appearing in a music video, but not just for any artist. Maluma is a one-time Latin teen heartthrob who's become an international sensation. With Lilia Luciano, we take note of the rise of Maluma. Tu me el Electrifying entire arenas to dissolve all inhibitions. Inspiring thousands to dance like nobody's watching comes naturally for Colombian megastar Maluma. The 29-year-old, whose songs surpass 50 billion streams worldwide, oh my God, look at greeted us in Sacramento last month. It's game time, baby! At the start of his North American tour. When you're standing here yep. and you're looking out, what are you noticing? What do you see there? It's crazy because people, sometimes they think that you don't see anyone, they just see the mass. But for me, it's not like that. I really like to get a focus in, in people, you know, maybe like trying to feel or know what they're feeling in that right moment. His genre melding sound is called reggaeton. A mix of Puerto Rican rap, hip hop, and Jamaican dancehall, just to name a few. Reggaeton has transformed music globally over the last 20 years. What needs to be on a reggaeton song? The spirit of being a warrior. Because when I met all these reggaeton big artists, they came from the streets and they had, they had to hustle. You know, someone that wants to conquer the world without many opportunities. And conquer he has. In music, of course, but also in film. From a mezcal to menswear. From a Porsche partnership to a burger brand. But a world away from screaming fans and flashing lights. Perfect. In the hills outside his hometown of Medellin, Colombia. Okay. Welcome to La Fonda de Juancho. Juan Luis Londoño Arias, his birth name, reigns in the fantasy, keeping a tight grip on what feels real. I wonder if the person who drives through those doors and comes to this ranch and spends time with the horses, is that still Maluma or is that Juan Luis? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> you know that there is no Maluma without Juan Luis. So every time I feel that Juan Luis is recharged and my human being is, is, is full of the things I really love, like my family, like my horses, like a good coffee, like the mountains, like the air of Medellin. Like when I feel full in my, yeah, in my human side, I feel like I can explore more and more with my music and my career. Most artists would not admit that they pursued music for money. But as a teen, after his dad lost his job and his mom struggled to keep things afloat, he switched his dream of becoming a soccer pro for a different goal. I was like, I think this is what's going to take my family to a better life. So music was survival for you? Oh yeah, survival. Music saved my life. But he still had to prove himself worthy among the rough warriors of the reggaeton genre. At the beginning it was hard because they were like, oh, this guy is only pretty, whatever it is, he looks good, like whatever, but he doesn't sing, he has no talent, he... Do people or... doubt that you write? Oh that yeah, you everything, everything. They were like, okay, this guy, he doesn't, he doesn't have any talent. And that's where all my athlete mentality came right away. Started going to the studio every day and I'm making music every, every day. You want it, right? It paid off. Lyrics pushing the limits of sex and luxury have made him enough money to buy more than a handful of pretty toys. A stable full of show horses, even a one-of-a-kind purple Ferrari. 
I used to play like with Hot Wheels and I always wanted to have them like in real life. I went back to my 17. Young and a rising royal, he has already shared court with the Queen of Pop at her behest. Madonna mm -hmm. came to Medellin to <laughs> sing a song named Medellin oh, yeah. with you. I was seeing like people who I grew up, like the teacher from high school, my friends from high school, everybody was there. So when I saw her coming up on stage, I was like, is this actually happening? I'm, I'm in a dream because she's the queen of pop. What's up? Hola. Manifesting dreams is the purpose of his foundation, El Arte de los Sueños, in the heart of Medellin. Emboldening at-risk youth from across the region to tap into their own reggaeton warrior potential. It's beautiful because it reminds me when I started, just wanted to conquer the world, right? Not even 30 yet, his journey is just beginning. He's still picking up speed, having fun, and dreaming big. I feel like someday we're gonna get there to that point. We're gonna say, "Wow, mm. we made it," you know. But what do you mean? You don't you don't feel that way yet? Oh no way! I'm just starting. No, I feel like there are some countries still that I need to conquer to become one of the biggest artists on earth.